Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Boston and I'm a music photographer based in Los Angeles and I am so excited to talk to you in today's video about this beast that I was able to snag from Nikon. This baby is brand new. This is the Nikon lens 180 to 600. This is a 5.6 to 6.3 and it is a beast, as you can see. And I am just so excited about this because I have been searching for one of these lenses for the longest time, and I finally have my hands on the Nikon version to test out. So today's video is just going to be a first impressions on this lens by itself and my thoughts and feelings. I was only able to do one shoot with it, so I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions and kind of go from there. So in case you are searching for a lens like this, first of all, let's talk about why I need a lens like this, because everyone sees something like this and they're like, this is a beast. What would you use this for? I have been shooting a lot of what they call front of house or soundboard shows where I am very, very far back in the venue when I am photographing the bands where I'm not in the pit. And it is really hard to get good shots. Um, with the gear that I have at 200, like I have to be fairly close to get a portrait shot or something up close and personal. So I've been looking for something like this. Now, this being said, everyone's like, well, concerts, don't you want something like a 2.8 or an F4, something smaller than a 5.6? Well, yes, it's going to be dark. That being said, all of those lenses are thousands and thousands of dollars. Like I do not have the budget or the range for that. A lot of people don't. So I am looking for something that is more budget friendly than those lenses. And this is really where I've been kind of focusing in is this like 180 to 600. And there's a few different brands that sell these. Before we get into it, this is the Z version of the lens. Most of the other versions of a like 180 or 200 to 600 lens would be for a DSLR. So this is new, this is the Z version, which I am really excited about because it helps me get a much sharper photo when I am using my Z gear, which is my 6.2. So I'm really excited about this being a Z lens. The thing that I love so much about this that I wasn't seeing in any other versions of this lens is that it is a internal zoom. So every time I zoom in or out, the lens stays the same. In comparison, this is my 24 to 70. You can see that once I zoom, it kicks out a little bit. So I call this like an external zoom. I don't know if there's an actual like proper name for these, but this one is internally zooming, which is fantastic because this lens, even though it's a beast, it only stays this size where I tried the Sigma versions of the DSL format and it would kick out so it'd be much larger and it was just very clunky and hard for me to use because I felt like I was kind of annoying. I was worried about hitting people. Um, if I was like zooming out and I just like bopped someone in the back of the head, that would be really annoying. So I love that this internally zooms. Now with this lens, I am almost always going to be using a monopod and a step stool. A step stool so I can get high above the crowd because I'm often shooting very, very far back and a monopod to balance. I was able to take this baby out with me to a concert. I actually got to photograph Ringo Starr of the Beatles, which was amazing. And I used this lens the whole show. Now, my setup was I had this pretty much at 600 the whole time. So it was at 600 F3, and I was shooting while standing on this with my monopod. And it was really, really difficult to shoot. It's something that I'm just gonna have to get used to because I don't do it often. I've rented lenses like this before for me to have these kind of soundboard shoots and it's just something that I'm not used to the heaviness of the gear. Especially when I'm trying to focus at 600 as a focal length, I'm not very great at balancing myself on my step stool with my monopod, so a lot of the photos that I got were blurry. Now, 
This has nothing to do with this lens and more so about how I use it. Since I'm trying to stabilize what I am doing and I'm kind of shaking a little bit, there is going to be some sort of like personal motion blur on my photos. I noticed that this was true because I was trying to shoot at a shutter speed of 1 over 250, which the general rule of thumb is shoot at 1 over your focal length. So I really should have been shooting as fast as 600, but I was trying to get in more light with this lens at 6.3, so I slowed down my shutter speed, which made my photos blurry. This is something that I'm gonna personally have to navigate to make sure that this lens works for me. But for me moving forward, I'm just going to be aware of maybe getting a bigger step stool so I can balance a little bit better and then just kind of testing and playing around with this to learn how to stabilize my monopod better. Maybe my monopod needs a foot or maybe it needs a ball head so I can adjust the camera a little bit more instead of me moving around. So those are things I've learned while testing this gear out at that concert. But I will say out of the photos that I got, I was surprised and so happy with how sharp they were. I had numerous comments on my Instagram about how sharp my images were and people being really happy and surprised and impressed with these photos. And to be honest, I was too. I was really, really happy to see how sharp the ones that I got in focus and worked with were. Additionally, I returned quite a bit of photos for what I thought that I was going to have. So I call a pretty large amount of my photos and I was pretty impressed with this. Later tonight and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna test this out again one last time with shooting in my neighborhood to see if I can try and like photograph some like nature photos. So maybe I'll photograph some birds. I've been trying to use this lens for night photography, but it's been so cloudy that I haven't been able to see the moon. So I'm going to try and take some photos of the moon once it clears up with this lens. If I'm able to do either of those scenarios, I'm going to insert the video here about how this lens performed in those spots. So I don't want to film a whole new thing. So I'm doing this voiceover style, but I was able to capture a little bit of the moon coming out from behind the clouds with the 180 to 600 lens. Now I did shoot this on a crop sensor, so it's roughly at like 800 for a focal length. And I wanted to see how sharp I could get at that distance and I was really impressed. This fills the frame to something that I'm very comfortable with. If the moon was lower to the horizon, it would be even bigger for me. So I was just really, really excited about capturing this one. Um, and I think it looks great. It did a great job. It was really sharp. It was able to focus. I was able to stabilize it. It was 10 out of 10, really great performance. And I was really happy about it. Then for now, we're gonna wrap it up because I was able to borrow this lens for a week. And to be honest, after the shoot that I had with Ringo, I put in my order for this lens. So I am super excited to add this to my just regular gear. I have been renting lenses like this for a long time. So to have one of these just ready to go that I can bring it to soundboard shoots this is going to be really fantastic for me. So I have placed in my order. I have loved it. So this review might be a little skewed because I do really, really love this lens. So you will see more videos to come. I will probably do an unboxing when it comes in. 
but I am just so excited and so happy with this. I love Nikon lenses. They're so sharp. They're like the best lenses on the market and I only own Nikon gear. So I am really excited that I can add this one to my kit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about this lens or how it works in certain scenarios, I'm happy to answer them. Please put any questions you have in the comments and I'll get to them. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I will put out more videos soon. So thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.